I have found the most unhinged scientific paper of my entire life, and I love it. What you're looking at is a proof of principle for making a biohybrid flesh robot from human tissues in the form of a dog. Over the last few years, I have brought you Nightmare Fuel, biohybrid robot components made from human parts. What you're looking at here is a skin made from human stem cells that could drape over a robot and give a robot skin that could potentially feel, heal, and grow, just like ours. A little bit too much like ours because it's actually made of human tissue. But you don't really have to stop there. You can connect tissue to muscle fibers, also made from human stem cells. You kind of grow it together and then slap it together. And with new advancements, we can even make a vascular system for them so blood can flow. Now I know what you're thinking. If it's made from biological components, wouldn't it need to eat and breathe? Well, this group out of Cambridge thought about that. It could have an artificial lung system, so it would pull air in from its mouth, and then, of course, you would want a glucose drip to feed those tissues. It would also have mechanical components and uh, it would need to get rid of waste, but it would be fairly efficient. Now, there is a problem. It could have AI components, but AI is not very good at running fleshy tissues. No, you need nonlinear thinking to run flesh. That's where the brain organoids come into play. Yes, the tiny human brains that we can literally grow in a jar if you want to and have run a computer. Or flesh robots. So individual muscles would be controlled by a brain organoid, probably a series of ones not dissimilar to ganglions. Each one would be incorporated with a computer chip, and that would probably relay information to a central AI component, likely in the head of the robot. But we don't have fully biological eyes, so I see no reason it wouldn't just see like a Roomba sees. Now, there are several issues with the flesh thing that have not been addressed yet, one of which is going to have an actual heart, and I suppose they could do something like an ECMO system. That's an artificial heart that can do the job of a person's if your heart's not working. The flesh probably would be prone to embolisms and things like necrosis, so it may end up getting infections, which, in my opinion, would make a perfect horror movie robot. The decaying zombie flesh dogs... Now, there is the issue that we haven't really fully developed an immune system for tissues grown in a laboratory, but researchers are working on that, and we do have immunocompetent organoids. One of the other questions that you should probably ask yourself is, why human tissue? Actually, why do this at all, but why human tissue? As for the at all, I think that's just because we can. I could lie to you and say that this is more efficient, but it's really not. This is essentially a proof of principle for designing an artificial organism out of individual parts that should have never been in this shape. It probably has medical applications, but that's actually the reason why human tissues would most likely be used for such a thing. In the research that you'll read that has things like the tiny human brains, they often use human brains because they are the most efficient brains we know of, but also because it's applicable for medicine. This is why even with induced strokes in mice, they used human brains to heal it. If you started out with mouse tissue and then decided to move to humans, you would end up having to overcome a significant barrier. If you just start out with humans, then you can move immediately to the next model, which has been done in monkeys. And yes, each of these individual things may be used for nightmare robotics, and unfortunately that's one of the reasons that we see a lot of this technology come out of private industry. Nightmare robotics. Things like this could be really applicable to medicine. We could have artificial skins, things like transplants. We could even heal organs that have been perforated with these kinds of patches made out of a patient's own tissue. Or we could have nightmare robotics. Your play.